Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about patchouli fragrances. So this is a subscriber requested video. Um, I, I have a ton of fragrances that have patchouli as a note in them. Um, but the ones that I picked are the ones that I feel like the patchouli is really the star of the show in these. Um, it's very, very prominent in the ones that I chose. And then I've got some for the end that are like patchouli bombs. They are, in my opinion, they are some of the best quality patchouli fragrances that you can find. Like if I just want a really beautiful, earthy, realistic patchouli, I will go for, there are only a few that I will wear. Um, but I'm gonna jump right in. I've got six fragrances where the patchouli is very, very prominent, and then I've got um, three just straight up patchouli fragrances. I'm gonna leave those for the end because they're, in my opinion, they're the best. This is a fragrance that I don't feel like I talk about enough. Every time I do talk about it though, I do rave about it because I do love it. This fragrance is called Judith Lieber Night, and this is beautiful. This has a very prominent cinnamon note in it, and I am a weirdo. I love cinnamon and perfume, especially when it's done especially when it's done well. And I feel like it's done really well in this. This has got, I, I'm pretty sure it's got plum in the top. It's got some kind of a dark fruit in the top. I, I believe it's plum, but the patchouli is really the star of the show in this one. This is a beautiful, sweet, spiced patchouli fragrance at the end of the day. It is dark without being gothic smelling. It's it's sweet patchouli is what it is. It's sweet patchouli with a beautiful cinnamon note. I love it. I love this fragrance so much. I didn't give this much love this winter. In fact, I'm going to pull it out and wear it before the season is over, before it starts to warm up because I've not given this one enough love this year but I'm definitely going to give it some love before it gets put away. I found this fragrance on clearance at TJ Maxx. It came with a body lotion um, in a set. I found it on super clearance for $8. So um, I cannot tell you like how happy I am that I took a chance and picked this up. It's just such a beautiful, it's, a, it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet, patchouli oh my gosh but it's beautiful and it's a little bit unique too it's not like your typical plum or fruit chuli kind of smelling fragrance the cinnamon note in this it really kind of elevates it in my mind I don't know there's just something I love about this fragrance it's really beautiful but patchouli is definitely the star of the show in this one um it is a patchouli fragrance through and through, for sure. Again, not a hippie patchouli. I would say this one leans more towards like a medicinal patchouli. Um, definitely not a hippie patchouli at all. It's not earthy. Um, it's more It's more of like a sweet, spiced, medicinal patchouli. Really beautiful. So anyways, that is Judith Lieber Night. Next, we have got a stunner or a fragrance. This is Lake and Sky at Midnight 07. And... Oh man, this again, to me, patchouli is definitely the star here with this one. It's kind of like the Judith Lieber Night, but this is way better quality. I mean, you can just smell the, you can just smell the quality in this. This one is rose and patchouli, but this has got a load of vanilla in it as well. So there's this really, really beautiful smooth, almost custard-like vanilla in the base of this one. But this is a gorgeous rose and patchouli fragrance. Oh my gosh, but I love it. And I've got a couple of other rose and patchoulis here, but this one is totally different than any other rose and patchouli combination that I've smelled because it's got that beautiful, sweet, creamy vanilla in the base. I love this fragrance. This is one of those fragrances that every time I smell it, I love it even more than I did the last time I smelled it. I'm just obsessed. I'm kind of obsessed with Lake and Sky. Um, I did not think I was going to fall in love with this house the way that I have. And oh my gosh, I love this fragrance so much. Like I love it so much more 
than even the last time I smelled it. It just smells amazing. It's a beautiful, sweet, creamy patchouli. The rose is, mm, it's there, but this is mostly about the vanilla and the patchouli, for sure. I don't know that you would even be able to really detect the rose in this because of that beautiful, sweet, creamy vanilla and all of the loads of patchouli. It's just beautiful. It's one of my favorite patchouli fragrances in my collection, hands down. This is an easy breezy, no brainer. It's a massive people pleaser. People love this fragrance. Um, and we're gonna get into some other patchoulis that are not as easy breezy as this. So yeah, this is probably the end of the, the end of the kind of safe crowd pleasers that I've got in my collection. But anyways, that one's Lake and Sky Midnight 07 is just such a beauty. Okay, and then this, I couldn't do a patchouli video without talking about Midnight Poison from Dior. Um, this is another rose and patchouli combination, but the this it's completely 180 degrees different from uh, the Lake and Sky one. Oh man. This one is... This one is not sweet at all. This is a beautiful green, kind of medicinal smelling patchouli, like a true patchouli. It's not earthy, you know, it smells like diluted patchouli oil. Um, and it's beautiful. The rose is much more prominent in this. It's a really gorgeous, dark but fresh rose. I love this one. This one's much more simple. And it's very patchouli heavy. This one truly is rose and patchouli. There are a lot of other notes in this, but anytime I think of Midnight Poison, those are the two notes that I think of because that to me is what I can smell the most. I love it. It is crisp. Um, it is, it's a dark, <laughs> this one's hard. It's a dark fragrance. For sure, it's like a deep dark rose and patchouli, but it's got this really beautiful, like crisp freshness to it. It's not cloying, it's not sweet, it's slightly green smelling, like almost a green smelling patchouli. It's just beautiful. It's completely opposite of anything that we've talked about. Um, this is, I don't know. It's more simple and it doesn't have any sweetness in it at all. The, the last, the first three that we talked about are really sweet. Um, so this one is like a totally different take on rose and patchouli. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of rose and patchoulis in my collection too. When I was going through, I was like, man, I've got a lot of rose and patchouli. Um, but it's a beautiful combination. So anyways, that is Midnight Poison from Dior. And then I've got a couple of just travel sprays, but I couldn't leave these out because they're beautiful. Um, they've got really prominent patchouli notes in them. The first one I wanna talk about is a Raja Dove fragrance, and this one is called Britannia. And this has a load of notes in it. A lot of Raja fragrances are, they're very, very complex fragrances, so they've got a ton of notes in them. This one though, the patchouli is so, prominent and so beautiful. It takes a minute for the patchouli in this one to really come forward because like I said, we're working with a lot of notes here. So there's a lot to smell, but I do remember, and especially when I wore this one on skin, I do remember it being very, um, I remember it having a very prominent patchouli note. There's a lot of notes in this though. It's beautiful. This one is complex. This one is one of those kinds of fragrances that is so complex and so well blended and there are so many notes in it that you almost can't pick anything out. Like I get a touch of sweetness, like a touch of powderiness, but there's a beautiful patchouli note in there and even on paper, after it starts to dry down, you really, really get the patchouli. Like it's really starting to come out now. It's beautiful. It's again, it's not like, it's somewhere in between an earthy and a green medicinal patchouli. It's not really either. And it's also not, it's not like in your face. It's like the one note that my brain can pick out. <laughs> 
it's beautiful. This one is definitely more, um, oh my gosh, yeah, I can just get, I just get the most, the most beautiful, slightly medicinal. It smells like real patchouli oil, which I've got a real patchouli oil sitting here that sometimes I'll just use it if I just want to smell like patchouli. But yeah, this one, um, you definitely get this really beautiful, fresh, realistic patchouli in it. Um, not a patchouli bomb by any means. It's not even as patchouli heavy as, um, or, well, it's, it's a lot more complex than any of the others we've talked about before. Um, so because there are so many notes in it, you just don't, it's not like patchouli bomb by any means, but there is the most gorgeous patchouli note in this. So anyways, that is Raja Parfums uh, Britannia. Okay, these next four are super heavy hitter patchoulis. These are like, I pull these out when I want to smell like I just took a time machine back to 1969. I want to smell like a hippie. I want to smell, you know, amazing, like amazing patchouli. These are the fragrances that I pull. So this first one, this one, it's in a kind of bad shape. I've had this bottle for literally, I've probably had this for 12, 12 years. Yeah, I got this long before Charlotte was ever born. Um, this is from a brand called Terra Nova, and this is just called Patchouli Perfume Essence. So it's super old, and the oil has like dripped down the side, but this is what the bottle looks like. There, it's called Terra Nova, and it's just called Patchouli. It's got like a little symbol on the back, and I do love this little lid. Um, this is a dabber style. This is, I've had this seriously for so long, um, and it still smells incredible. This smells like a patchouli fragrance that you would find in a health food store. It's just straight up, really earthy, hippie patchouli. That is what this is. It's beautiful. Um, gosh, I wanna say I picked this up maybe on Amazon. It's been so many years ago. Um, yeah, it says Perfume Essence. StoreTerranovaBody.com is a website that's on the bottom of this, but I'm pretty sure I got mine on Amazon. But anyways, that is Terra Nova Patchouli. Straight up patchouli bomb, hippie, just super earthy hippie patchouli. I love it. I used to get compliments on this all the time when I would wear it like out. People would either not know, you know, what they were smelling or they would know immediately it was patchouli and they would be like, is that patchouli oil you're wearing? And I'd be like, yes. <laughs> so anyways, that is Terra Nova patchouli. It's such a good one. You can't go wrong with just a good quality, actual patchouli essential oil. So I've got, this one here is from Mountain Rose Herbs, which I love that website for um, essential oils. This is a really beautiful organic patchouli oil. Sometimes I will just wear this as a perfume. Sometimes if I just feel like wearing patchouli or if I have a headache because patchouli is good for, um, patchouli is good for headaches. It's good for just pain in general. So sometimes if I'm like in pain um, or if I've got a headache or I just feel like smelling like straight up patchouli, I will just pull out my beautiful patchouli essential oil. Um, it's stunning. I will put this in a diffuser and diffuse it throughout my house. Um, I just love it. Like you can't go wrong with just a really good quality patchouli essential oil. Again, this one is from Mountain Rose Herbs. Really, really beautiful, high quality organic patchouli oil. Okay, and then this next one. This is another one that is a patch it's an earthy patchouli bomb. This is Matthew Meleg's Choco Patchouli Vienna 1900. This is a fragrance. This is the time of year that I pull it out when it's really cold out. 
I, I have wool sweaters that still smell like this fragrance because I wore them last year when I wore this fragrance and they still smell like this. Like that's how, it's just, that's how crazy good this fragrance is and how high quality it is. And he also uses the most gorgeous powdered dark chocolate note. It is incredible. And this is one that with age, it's getting better. It's just getting better and better with age. These, he makes some of the most high quality. I mean, Matthew and Untamed make some of the most high quality perfumes I've ever smelled. Um, for being handmade fragrances that are just, he's literally hand making little batches out of his apartment. You would, I mean, but I guess that that's what artistry is. In my mind, that's like the good stuff, you know? Those are, it's just, it's so hard for me to explain. I mean, it's stunning. This is, I left this for the end because this is one of my favorite patchouli fragrances in my collection, hands down. Anytime I think of patchouli, I think of this. And it's such a, like a masterpiece. Seriously, it's a masterpiece. And so I very rarely buy patchouli perfumes anymore, especially if they're just like straight patchouli because I have this in my collection and in my mind, I don't need anything else. And I never will. Um, I have found another patchouli though that I think I need to pick up a bottle. <laughs> um, but it's completely different from this one. But yeah, this is, it is on the pricey side, but when I tell you guys that these are absolute works of art and the quality is, I mean, you really are getting what you pay for with his fragrances or with Untamed. I mean, they're just so good. So anyways, that is Matthew Meleg's Choco Patchouli Vienna 1900. It is a masterpiece of a patchouli. And then the last one we're going to talk about is the one that I just picked up a sample of this. And this is Charlotte's new favorite fragrance. She has used up, she's used up most of this sample. I'm trying to see in it. Let me see if I can um, turn my flashlight on in. Yeah. Okay, so there's about this much left. And... I can tell you I only sprayed it twice. I sprayed it once on a piece of paper and I just wasn't impressed. I, I knew I could smell the quality of it, but I knew that this was one that needed to be tested on skin. So I immediately sprayed it on my hand. In fact, during my haul video, I sprayed it on my hand. Um, and it like, this is a life changing patchouli. Um, the quality, number one, this is an eau de toilette. I'm telling you, Charlotte doesn't take a bath every day. So she she sprayed this on three days ago and I just put her in the bath and she's, I could still smell this on her. Like literally, I could still smell this on her. It was in her hair. I could smell it on her. Um, and that's an eau de toilette. Like this is one of the strongest fragrances I think I've ever smelled in my life. Um, this is one that I do feel like if you put it on a sweater and put the sweater back in your closet until next winter, I feel like you'd still be able to smell this on your sweater next winter. Um, it's crazy. And it's funny because I could tell immediately that this was one of the best quality patchoulis I've ever smelled in my life. It's, I don't want to spray it because like I said, it's Charlotte's favorite. I need to pick up a bottle of it because, um, to her, she said it smells like my mom's house. So she, or her grandma, she feels like it smells like her house. So it's super, super comforting for her. So I want to savor this little sample as long as I can until I can find a full bottle of this. But somebody commented on my haul video that this, uh, talking about how underrated this fragrance is and that it's got the highest concentration of patchouli oil in it of any patchouli fragrance on the market. This is incredible. Now this is a super, super earthy, like it's even more earthy than, than uh, Matthews. Matthews is pretty earthy. The chocolate gives it this really beautiful, um, almost like slight powdery vibe. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. This one is straight dark, dark, 
earthy patchouli. I mean, this is like, <laughs> it's like earth and patchouli for real. It's dark, dark stuff. It's beautiful. It's a hippie patchouli. It's a very strong, dense hippie patchouli. The color of it is just like the, the darkest, most beautiful liquid amber color you would ever want to see. I mean, just beautiful. And everything about the color of this fragrance is an indication of what it smells like. Uh, it's just like it's a patchouli on another level. Um, aside from Matthews, I don't know that I've ever smelled a better quality patchouli in my life. And for the price, I mean, there's just no... There's just no comparison. And because of that, even though because I have Matthew's patchouli, I don't feel like I need another patchouli in my life. This is such a masterpiece. And my daughter is so in love with it. I have to buy a bottle. It's just, it's an incredible fragrance. So anyways, that is Reminiscence Paris patchouli. Um, it is an eau de toilette, which is mind blowing to me. I've never smelled such a strong eau de toilette in my life. Um, but yeah, this one will definitely be turning into a full bottle. So anyways, guys, those are my favorite patchoulis in my collection. I do hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.